So today I thought we'd talk about the real indicators of a healthy ecosystem. Now, a lot of people would have you believe that seeing a lot of elephants means the ecosystem might, must be good or seeing a lot of big game on a game drive means that the ecosystem must be good. And actually that's not true. Those are animals that have got something called behavioral plasticity. Plasticity means that their behavior is very variable. So you can take a lion and you can put in the Serengeti Plains and he's going to thrive. You can put him in a very dry area like Namibia and he's going to do very well. You can put him in a, a moderate area like Kruger National Park and he's also going to do very well. So the same species can adjust itself to many different habitats and environments. And the same thing goes for elephant. Elephant can live in the desert. They can live in the forest. They can live in the open savanna. They can even live in a swamp like in the Zambezi Delta ecosystem. So really they're not really indicators of a healthy environment and seeing lots of animals doesn't indicate that your environment is healthy. Seeing an enormous biodiversity of the small things that's where the indicators are. And so if you want to see if an environment is healthy you've really got to see and look and, and, and ask yourself what is the butterfly diversity? What are the bugs like? How's the frogs in the water? What are the tiny little fish that exist in the waterways? Because those are the animals that have zero plasticity, zero behavioral plasticity. They've got to have very specific environmentals in order to thrive and survive. And so really, if an ecosystem is too dry or a particular plant is getting damaged, you'll find that the butterfly population loses a bit of diversity. If you start to get encroachments of humans and, and maybe a little bit of crops getting sprayed and things like that, you'll find that certain insects will be lacking in a particular ecosystem. And so really when you look at it, it's these little things that are the indicators. And that's why I firmly believe that when you talk about conservation, you've truly got to be talking about the conserving of the entire biodiversity. Because going on a game drive and just seeing lots of animals does not mean that the ecosystem is healthy. Going on a game drive and seeing lots of animals and birds and frogs and lizards and insects and all of the different players which are crucial to the balance of that system mean that it's a healthy ecosystem. And so healthy ecosystems are becoming rarer and rarer. And it's just a comment we made the other day. We were on a road trip. And as kids, you could never do a road trip during the rainy season without having to stop multiple times to wipe the windscreen because there were so many bugs. We didn't have to stop a single time in a 10 hour road trip because I think that there's just less bugs on the planet. And that's because of human encroachment. It's because of these enormous areas that are being set aside for agriculture. So really coming back to what we were talking about, identifying whether an ecosystem is healthy or not truly is about the biodiversity.